How many beers? You sink the first in one. Relax. The fun's just begun. As you head towards two, you tell your shaggy dog joke and start to feel like you. You're fully charged by the third as your tongue fires bullets in the crowd and you're mad as George the Third. Quick change into fourth as the beast within you gathers speed. I love Pamela, you cry, as number five crashes like a wave in your rocky throat. You're buzzing like a hive and want to sting as number six makes your hormones sing and you're throbbing for a fix. She walks in as the barman pours pint number seven. In your mind, she's on her loving knees and blowing you to heaven. Pint number eight, you give it to her straight. I think you're very gorgeous. Meeting after eight pints, it must be fate, but by number nine, you're less refined. You grab both tits and pull, which isn't very kind. Number 10, she never wants to see you again, and the blokes don't get your jokes, and in a daze, you remember when you were in heaven, somewhere around pint number seven. And suddenly, you've got the answer. Number 11. And so it goes on to the curry house brawl, puking on Jeff in the hospital and then the dizzy stench of Vindaloo and all the confusion about who hit who. The only wish you can think of at all is that we all could somehow stall and live our lives somewhere around pint number seven. Now that would be heaven. Well, that's what I'm going to